you were talking about uh, ISRO being an organization, you stayed there for 30 years, which yeah. is unusual today in any organization where someone's sticking That's for fine. 30 years. But tell us, where does it start? Yeah. Where did it start and what is the role of scientific role models you had like Abdul Kalam, et cetera. Tell us a little bit about how do you create that type of yeah. uh, loyalty? Basically, see, in any organization, when it grows and then it gets into the, any grown stage, the basic reason would be the vision of the elders. All of us know Vikram Sarabhai and the Professor Atheist, uh, Satish Dhawan. They were the founders. They have given the kickstart in the early 1960s. In fact, we would have seen in the pictures a small rocket carried in a cycle, bicycle, yes. and a satellite, which is the founder of uh, Counter work of uh, the URL, basically from Bangalore, when they made a first a small satellite or a butt, they were not having the vibration shaker to test that satellite to see the workmanship. They found a novel method of putting onto the bullock cart and running on the rough road that creates a random vibration and then tests the satellite. Such type of novel things, novel, uh, when we don't have something, they show the way. This is how it started. That formed the basis for us to keep on uh, researching, doing work, etc. Really, the basis for the ISRO start is the Vikram Sarabhai, Satish Dhawan, U R Rao, and Abdul Kalam, and so on. And you know, it is true they started it that way, but it has to continue. Also, it's not been always up and up, right? They were failures. Yes. You know, Chandra. This is Chandrayaan three. That's uh, successful. So how did you deal with the failures? How did you as an organization learn from failures and how do you keep people motivated through failures? Yeah. Just I want to bring the notice. You would have heard that the satellite launch vehicle, a small SLV they call, and ASLV augmented satellite launch vehicle way back in 1980s and uh, up to 85, 86. When the failure happened, one of the uh, launch vehicle project director was Abdul Kalam, none other than Abdul Kalam. The press was very eager to know why that failure, etc. At the time, Professor Satish Dhawan told, the failure is my responsibility as a chairman of this row. He went for the public and then told, what is the failure, we will come back. Then the next time, they had given a big success, learning out of failures and more tests. That is the strength of his row. They don't give up just like that. The never say die attitude of our leaders. That is the main reason why we came up step by step, reading, learning, testing, test as you fly, etc. And also I think there's an important lesson in that, that when there's a failure, the leader takes the responsibility, responsibility. instead of blaming, uh, oh, the scientists didn't do that right or something of that sort. But when the success is there, it's shared with everybody. It is shared, it's shared with everybody. Just I would like to recall here, Chandrayaan 3 is not just a question of one project director or group director and so on. There are hundreds and hundreds of people at various centers, they have given their systems, their time, their life, etc., to bring to the success. And another important thing I would like to tell here, there are many industrial startups, etc. For example, in uh, launch vehicle systems and spacecraft systems from the industrial partners, we cannot give a, a big order. When we give a subsystem or a component, what we need is three numbers, four numbers. That is not a big order at all for the companies. Still, in India, one thing happens. When you say it is for ISRO and it is for country India, they love to take the order. Whether they get profit or not, they give it as and the success, they believe that it is their success. That is the main thing which has led to us. You know, we have someone here, Sushil, who was saying one of his companies supply things. And I think it's something the suppliers feel proud, proud. to say, I have been a supplier. Yes, yes. So tell me, how do you build that pride where someone like you stays there for 30 years and uh, you could have, you can leave and get a job somewhere else if you yeah. want. What makes you stay knowing that the money is not the top money, the facilities, it's not like you have like, you know, place to play ping pong or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. So what makes you stay? 
First of all, I would say the a strong uh, conviction is uh, from the tradition of his role. Our elders, the seniors, they have taught us how to go about. And the kind of work, uh, what we do, the self-satisfaction and motivation, these are the things that keeps on going. In spite of that, in 1991, when I joined, there is a good amount of attrition was there because of the software uh, effect, basically. Still, the attrition was very poor only. That is because of the kind of work what you do is quite different than other people, and people continue. Yeah. The tradition of elders, yeah. I would say. And, you know, I, I, I've talked to many scientists from ISRO, and this one common thing that's there in terms of the loyalty, the tradition, and being happy with what you have, deriving satisfaction from what you do. Yeah. And, you know, and also the other thing is, it took two decades for this success to happen now. It didn't happen overnight, right? Yeah. So how do you stay motivated for two decades? You know, you, we want results in like a quarter. Yeah. And this is like, you know, every year you are like moved an inch. So how do you stay motivated? These, uh, this where the trick is there. See, what is the purpose of ISRO? When Vikram Sarabhai told, in fact, he told, we are not wanting to go to the moon. We don't want to go interplanetary as well. We want to serve the nation, the need of the man, mankind. That is the basic idea what he chose. And later that, we know that we developed the launch vehicles like Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, GeoSelvi, et cetera. And we have become self-sufficient in making remote sensing satellites, communication satellites, scientific satellites. This is our bread and butter. We don't keep a person working in only one project like Chandrayaan. It goes parallel. He doesn't know he is waiting for the victory. Here and there, one or two satellites, one or launch vehicles get success. He gets motivated. Further, what is the change for future? You do Chandra one Chandrayaan 3, it is going to give a more remarkable interest, uh, happiness to you. When they say that, parallelly it goes for bread and butter as well as for the challenges. Yeah. This is what it keeps the people working. So in the long term, just keep giving small successes. Small successes. And then while yes, you have... Yes, uh, yes. And also, uh, tell us a little bit about the innovation in Chandrayaan compared to, say, a lunar mission or something that happened in US or whatever. Yeah. What is it that we did? that made us do it in a fraction of the cost and uh, in many other things. Yeah. See, way back in 2013, if I am correct, we went around the moon, that is Chandrayaan 1. So when uh, the chairman told we need to uh, go around the moon, immediately people told that it is not possible because we don't have a big vehicle which is giving the uh, required delta V, we call delta velocity, required energy. but. The stalwarts, they kept a brainstorming session and we have proved that even with PSLE, Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, with a liftoff mass of 1,500 kg, we planned a mission, brainstorming sessions, how to do it and go to near the moon. That is one step. What I would like to say is the step-by-step -step basis of attacking the problem and acquiring the knowledge. The second step was MOM, Mission to Mars. That also we have succeeded. Now the difference, coming to your point, what is the difference between other uh, landing missions and Earth landing mission? Our launch vehicle, even though LVM-3 is there, the others are directly going to the moon in one shot. For example, the Luna 25, the Russians, what they made, it has gone very directly. But we cannot do that because our launch vehicle can, cannot give that much of energy. So there is a plan here. You would have seen in the public, in the domain, whatever the documents uh, ISRO has uh, delivered. We have injected first around the Earth. We have smaller engines. With smaller engines, we give delta V for each and every orbit, around five orbits. Then the sixth one, when we fire, we are carrying the fuel in the lander along with the propulsion module that carries fuel that takes to the lunar injection orbit. Again, there it going to reduce and come to the 100 kilometer orbit around the moon, we correct by engines. This is a different strategy, even though we do not have a yes, very stronger one, we have met that. That is a strategic 
uh, one we applied and then we got succeeded. Thank you so much. I think it's really wonderful to see in ISRO the kind of loyalty, the kind of simplicity that exists. Uh, you know, you've been there for 30 years and here you're accessible to all of us. Yeah. And thank you for sharing about yeah. the mission. Is there anything you would like to say as closing yeah, words? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I really am very, very excited to see a few of the earlier lectures, the worry about uh, the environment. I would like to tell here, even ISRO is worrying about the environment. We are working on green propellants, which are going to come in future to reduce the pollution part of on the earth. That is one portion. And another portion, India in uh, ISRO, it has started in a very humble way. In fact, few people lost their lives during the developments in two de decades ago. In addition, you could have seen some part of the time, there are embargoes. Certain materials we may not get, certain uh, systems we may not uh, be allowed to get, etc. All these things, step by step, we have gone ahead using our own materials, indigenization, etc., etc. Today, we can see, we can say strongly that we are indigenized and totally we are on for any system for space. We can serve that even the whole world if requires. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so all. much Thank for you. your time. Thank you. Thank you.